All right, guys. Back to do bookcase number three. Hi, Getty. All right. So up here we have Though You May Burn to Ash, Volume 3, The Saga, Atanya, The Evil, Volume 4, um, random volumes I got for five bucks each. Maybe I'll sell them, maybe I'll expand on them. I really liked The Saga, of Tanya, The Evil, um, the anime. I thought it was great. It's like a alternate World War I uh, Europe. And then we have just an American comic here, Flesh for the Beast. Got it for a dollar on Right Stuff. I think it's still being sold at, on Right Stuff for a buck. And then Akira, 35th Anniversary Edition. Um, I got an amazing deal on this back in November 2017 when it came out. It was on sale on Amazon for 89 bucks, and Walmart matched that. And I get 10% off everything, well, almost everything on Walmart, because that's where I work. And, uh, yeah, I got this for, I think, like, $79 or $82, something like that, after tax. Uh, it arrived busted open, so I actually had to send back that, and they, they sent me this nice new one, still wrapped, and I just haven't gotten around to read it. But I loved the anime. Um, I've read some of the manga, not much. I plan on just marathon in it. Uh, yeah, I, I think everyone knows about Akira. If you're like a Chronicle fan and you don't know anything about manga and you want to get into it, start with this. We have uh, Canada Hat up there. Abra, um, this is by Sutomu Nihei, guy who did Blam and Knights of Sidonia. It's actually, I think he did this right after Blam. So this is his second work. And then we have Blam, Volumes 1 through 3, the Master Editions. Um, I mean, the, the movie's on Netflix if you want to watch it. It's, it's really good. Uh, I wanted to see more of the movie, so that's why I decided to pick up the manga. Then we have Berserk, the Deluxe Editions, Volumes 1 and 2. I do have Volume 3 come in the mail. I got it for only $20. I don't think I need to explain Berserk either. Everyone knows about that. Halo, Graphic Novel, and Zoo, Graphic Novel. Then we have... Kimi Machi no Iru, I think it's called uh, in Japanese, which uh, translates to A Town Where You Live. This is by Koji Sio, the author of Suzuka and Fuka. Um, I, I was a huge Suzuka fan. I loved the manga. It was my second favorite manga of all time for a while. Uh, it's probably my second favorite rom-com manga of all time. And I got these for, I think, 10 bucks for all 11 volumes. And we have Message to Adolf, Volume 2. I want to get volume one, but it's so hard to find because it's out of print. I got lucky and got this for $4. And then that's just a um, Barnes & Noble book I got for like two bucks. All right, down here we have Wolf Children, um, the omnibus edition. I didn't really care for the anime, to be honest. I thought it was Mamoru Hosoda's not best, but I mean, everyone loves it because, you know, all the drama and everything. I just thought it was kind of stupid. She goes to college. And then decides to drop out and pop out a couple kids and then become a single mom. And it's just, I don't know, I didn't really care for it. Um, maybe because I see that stuff around here all the time where I live. And we have Gate of Volume 1. Uh, I loved the anime. I thought it was like one of the best action animes of the year it came out, which I think was like 2015. I wish, I, I, w I really wish we got more of this. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to come out in English. I think, we, I think we just get this one volume and hopefully it'll be license rescued planet test volumes one and two same author who did vinland saga well this came out first i really enjoyed the anime it's about um it's not it doesn't sound very interesting but uh space trash retrieval stuff like that the anime was good and i decided to go with the manga see what the manga's like i'm assuming the manga is a little different than the anime because it's much shorter in Japan, the manga was only six volumes, and the anime was 25 episodes, so yeah, I think the manga's shorter. And then we have Wander and Island Volume 1. Volume 2 just came out not too long ago. Um, I haven't read it yet. And then we have Ori Emo, Orimo, I call it Orimo. Uh, my little sister can't be this cute. This is the anthology edition. And then we have I Am a Hero, Volumes 1 through 11 so this is complete i finished volume 9 a couple months ago so i have to read volume 10 and 11 and that'll be all set it starts off really slow it's a zombie manga that starts off super slow i mean the main character 
he's not my favorite main character and he's crazy in the first volume he's talking to hallucinations and whatnot if you could get through the first volume it starts to pick up in volume two and goes faster and faster but yeah i mean i recommend the series if you like zombie mangas or zombie series elf and lead volume one on well omnibus one it's volumes one two three I read Elf and Lead, I want to say in 2009, 2008 maybe, it was a long time ago, right after I watched the anime, which I've seen the anime like three times, three or four times. I really enjoyed the anime, the manga is different, the anime has a, an anime only ending, the manga ending is completely different than the anime, there's a time skip, um, I won't spoil it for people, but definitely check out the manga if you enjoyed the anime, I need to pick up volume 2 and then volume 3 is coming out in next, mark, or next month. Then we have Kuroneko, well, Orimo Kuroneko. I really enjoyed Orimo. It's one of my favorite rom-coms. Um, I didn't see any point picking up volumes 1 through 5 of the original series because it's only like a third of the anime. So, yeah, and it's out of print. Kuroneko I picked up because I really wanted to see the Kuroneko ending that everyone wanted to also see. You know, despite the Orimo original ending, I still like it. I don't know if I'll prefer this one or over the original ending, but... I got this to, to try out. And we have Psycho Pass. Um, volume 1. I won't be getting any more of that because Dark Horse. I'm pretty sure they canceled it. There's four volumes out and in, here in America. But there's like seven or eight volumes in Japan. And we haven't seen a new volume in like two years. So yeah, it's probably done with. Then we have Japan by Baronson and Kentaro Miura. It's a one shot. It's okay. Nothing special. Giganto Maxia. Um, also another one shot by Kentaro Miura. I would have preferred another Berserk volume though. Speaking of Berserk, volumes 1 through 40. So this is up to date. I got all the, all the spines matching. Looks nice and beautiful. Down here we have the Flame Dragon Knight novel. And then we have official guidebook. Gantz, volumes 1 through 37 so Gantz is complete Gantz was my second favorite manga series well it was tied with berserk until it ended and then once it ended it didn't it wasn't tied with berserk anymore because the ending to Gantz really isn't that good very lackluster in my opinion i mean Gantz was an awesome read though i still recommend it uh if you like bloody action sci-fi series this is this is one to get next to that we have Gantz g which is complete it's only three volumes long and I can tell why. It just wasn't it wasn't that good. They tried to do it like a a female a female K Corono. And it just didn't pan out. The story didn't really feel much like Gantz, in my opinion. And uh Yeah, I've I've read the first two volumes. I need to finish volume three and and I could give my final thoughts on it. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that great of a series. Down here we have Fate Zero, which is again cancelled by Dark Horse because they cancel everything that doesn't sell very well. Uh, there is an eighth volume out. I'm probably not going to get it just because, like I said, the series is cancelled. It's only, I think, 11 or 12 volumes in Japan. Dark Horse didn't have much longer to go, but they just caved. Um, Shadow Lady by Masakazu Katsura in the old left to right format. Because this came out in like 96 or 98. It's pretty old. But I love Masakazu Katsura's art. He did Video Girl Eye, Eyes, and Zetman. If you're into like action action series with great art. I, I suggest picking them up. I think you can get them for like 8 bucks a volume. Maybe less. Next to that we have The Sacred Blacksmith. I watched the anime back in 2011, 2012. Somewhere around there. And I really liked the anime, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the manga because I don't think the anime is ever going to get a second season. If you're into, like, fantasies for guys, this is this is a decent series. And then Dance in the Vampire Bond, volumes 1 through 21, which is technically season 1 and season 2. No, season 2 is all in this one volume. Uh, there is a season 3 coming out of the manga, and I believe it's the first volume comes out in, I think, June? don't know for sure on the date but yeah there is a third season coming out for this next we have um the doujin one and two which this one's just manga doujin and then this one is novella doujin by the the author of dance the vampire bond dive in the vampire bond one and two that's complete and then 
Dance and the Vampire Bun Gaiden. I heard there's a second volume coming out, but I don't know that for sure. I think Amazon listed a second volume, but I don't think there is. Then we have Gunslinger Girl, volumes 1 through 15, and volume 1 in ADV. I love Gunslinger Girl. If you're a fan of, like, Phantom Requiem for the Phantom and animes that involve, like, just kick-ass gunfights and whatnot, Gunslinger Girl is one to get. Um, this series and, and I'd say Black Lagoon are kind of in the same genre. I've read from here all the way to here. I have to finish the final volume. Um... But yeah, I mean, it, it's good. A Certain Scientific Railgun, Volumes 1 through 13. I'm, I think, two volumes behind on that, so it's not up to date. I actually watched this anime before I watched Magical Index, and I, I think I prefer Railgun over Index, just a little bit more. Then we have A Certain Scientific Accelerator, Volumes 1 through 7. Also, I think there's like two or three more volumes out. I'm probably not going to collect any more of this until I... um start reading it or finish the animes because i know there's a third season out now for railgun and i think there's a season coming out right now for um accelerator then we have myo cheeky volumes one through seven this is complete i really enjoyed the anime i thought it was um uh i'd give it like a maybe eight out of ten for rom-coms for guys it's a, it's got the gender bender element in it and i mean uh I don't know what else to say about it, but it's definitely definitely one to pick up if you're into gender bender rom coms for guys. All right, down here we have Hog and I. I don't have many friends, volumes one through seventeen. That is up to date, and then I have the I don't have many friends now with fifty percent more fail and club minutes, which I think one of them goes for an insane amount, like sixty or ninety bucks, something stupid crazy. Some of these volumes are out of print, so they're hard to get. Um, but if you can find them cheap definitely pick it up it's another rom-com and uh i'm still waiting for a season three i don't know if we'll ever get it but this is a great anime and manga golden time volumes one through nine i honestly don't even know why i bought this because i watched the anime back when it came out on crunchyroll and i i didn't really care for it like i watched the whole thing but i didn't think it was that good i think it's by the author of toradora so maybe that's why i picked it up I can't remember though. I got them really cheap, like three bucks a piece, so why not? And then speaking of Toradora, volumes one through eight. This is up to date. This is also in my top three for favorite rom coms of all time for anime. Um the manga follows it pretty faithfully. But one volume comes out every like two years. It's ridiculous. I think I started collecting Toradora in twenty eleven. In, in the nine years that I've been collecting it, only eight volumes are out. We have I Don't Like You At All, Big Brother, volumes 1 through 12. This is complete. Another old school anime that I watched in like 2011, 2010, something like that. And it's just, it's like perverse and funny. So if you're into perverse, funny series, definitely check this one out. I really enjoyed it. I need to read the last volume of the manga really good if you're into like the rom-coms that clearly i'm into freezing volumes one and two this is out of print i think it's selling for like 30 bucks right now i really want to get more but other volumes are also out of print and hard to get so i don't know if i'll ever actually collect all of freezing i really like to because i enjoyed the anime all right down here kuroneko or what am i saying kuroneko kokoro connect i loved the anime it's also in my top three series i think hi kitty um the manga does not do the anime justice at all the manga is so short it like ends i would say at episode six of the anime maybe I, I i don't know i i didn't even really read through all of it i just looked through it to see how much the anime it covered and I got it because it's Kokoro Connect, and I really like that series, and I got them for three bucks a volume. So then, Masamune Kun's Revenge, volumes one through eight. Uh, there is nine and ten out. That's complete, and they're doing a second season, manga season. Volume one comes out, I think, next month in March or April. Uh, another rom-com. Seven Seas just uh, clearly likes making or producing the rom-coms in English, which I don't mind. They're some of my favorite series. 
not lives, volumes one through nine. I need to get volume 10 and that'll be, that'll be complete. I haven't read it yet. Um, also got it for like $3 a volume while I was in Anime Boston. To Love Rue, volumes one through 14. I do have 15 and 16 coming in the mail and then 17 and 18. So this is complete, volumes one through 18. I have not started it yet, but once 15 and 16 come in, I will. Next to that, we have To Love Rue Darkness, Volumes 1 through 9. I know I'm a few volumes behind. I can't wait to read Darkness more than the original series because the artwork is, to me, it looks more crisp and clear, and there's a lot more nudity. So it's a little more mature than the original series. Going down here, we have Made in Abyss, Volumes 1 and 2. I really enjoyed the anime to it. I do plan on buying more of Made in Abyss. I just not gonna be spending full price on each volume because I can't afford to buy every single volume at full price. Citrus volumes one through six, that is not complete. <laughs> Four volumes behind. I believe it's 10 volumes total. It's a Yuri manga. I think most people know about Citrus now because of the anime. This is my Yuri collection right here. Kashimashi Girl Meets Girl, Complete Editions, Volume 1, 1 and 2. Uh, it's a strange plot. It's about a girlish looking boy who gets hit by a spaceship and they can't recreate his body as male, so they recreate it as female. So it becomes like a love triangle. Uh, the anime was really good. I enjoyed it way back in like 2005 or 6 when I watched it. But yeah, that's the manga. I, I think the manga is a little different. From what I remember in the manga, he has like a chronic illness. But yeah, I read the manga so long ago that I don't really remember much of it. Girlfriends Volume 1 and 2. Got them backwards. Uh, complete editions. More Yuri. Same same author artist as Kisses Size and Cherry Blossom Pink. NTR Trap. NTR Netsuzo Trap, I believe it's pronounced. 1 through 5. I do plan on getting more of this. I really like the art. I got them for also three bucks each. So that's a steal. Tokyo Undead, complete edition. And then Hour of the Zombie, volumes one through six. I believe it's the same artist or author as Tokyo Undead. I think there's a total of eight volumes out. So this is complete now. I just don't own them. I'm going to be buying them soon though. Evergreen, volume one, same artists or same author as Toradora, I think. There are four volumes. I'm missing the other ones. I'll eventually get them. Love and Hell, volumes one through three. This is complete. And then we have sequel Death Life, which wasn't as good as Love and Hell. Very mature series. I recommend it if you like mature, um, mature manga. Next to that, we have The Testament of Sister New Devil, volumes one through eight. It's almost complete i need the ninth volume and that'll be then it'll be complete uh let's see the anime to me was like close to hentai the manga not so much at least not compared to the anime but the uh storm edition right here well i have volumes one through three there's five volumes total so i just need to get two more volumes and that'll be complete if i show you uh storm here You'll see that this is pretty much close to hentai. Let's see if I could find any good scenes. Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Plenty of it. Yeah, if you want a more mature version of this, of the manga, definitely go with Storm. It has, has uh, that mature element to it. All right, and that is... Ah, that is it for bookcase um, number three. Next week will be Yen Press, or sorry, um, Kodansha, Seven, son of a, I'm really screwing this up. Kodansha, and I can't think of who else. Vertical, Vertical and Miscellaneous. Yeah, so that's, that's that bookcase, and then Miscellaneous, and Hentai, and then Anime. Thanks for watching, guys.